Okay. I fixed it. It went to a weird default. Oh, I found it. Hey Sam, I found the thing I asked you to find for me. So, thanks. Oh, no problem, bro. No problemo. I'm really sad that I couldn't get you the actual thing. I tried. I think it's all messed up because of the uh, Amazon. Uh, yeah, that's because I was muted at the time. So, you know, anyway, don't worry about it. I figured it out. I figured it out. Now, if only I could read it, that would be, that would be good. Yep, you were obligated. Okay. Sorry about that. Some weird technical difficulties right at the beginning there. Okay. Hello and welcome to Accidental Origin, your weekly writing web show. My name is Brendan. We are back. It's 2017. I had a good two weeks off. I've been doing a ton of writing. I have a deadline upcoming soonish and I've been working my ass off to, to get that done for a submission to a magazine yeah I'm excited I'm working really hard on that um, yeah so what have you guys been up to what's how's your year been so far everyone had good holidays I'm hoping or terrible ones I don't know what do you want whichever one you will like so yeah. Turn that back over. Uh, I regret not buying this in PDF. I was going to. If you've been a regular streamer or uh, a regular viewer, you know that I've been working on a story called Dinner, uh, and I will be submitting that to a Canadian science fiction magazine uh, this month. So that is in the works. Hopefully it all works out. We'll see. That would be very nice. really frustrating <sighs> um 
the uh, I'm not going to delve too deep into uh, exactly what that worked all that worked out to. I will say though that the uh, current standard for a professional rate, uh, as per the Science Fiction and Fantasy Writers of America Guild, is zero point zero six cents U.S. per word. So that is the current professional standard. Uh, yeah, but just writing words won't necessarily make your thing good enough to actually be used. So, you know, that's a great approach and all. I mean, the whole thing is, is that's, that's Dickens's thing. That's why Dickens has such crazy long books, is because he was paid by the word. That is so suboptimal. work yes cool Got it. I got it to work. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're back. We're back on track. It's all working. All right. So, things I wanted to do today. I wanted to talk a bit about setting writing goals for the year, uh, specifically on-stream writing goals, more so than just general writing goals. And then I wanted to work on a new bio, because uh, I need to write one. Uh, so I was gonna do some of that. And um, yeah, that's the main stuff I have planned. Uh, and we're gonna talk about those things in a little greater detail. So yeah. That's where we're at right now. 
Yeah, biography. Do a Final Fantasy fan? Am I missing a joke? I feel like I'm missing a joke. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> but my biography, a biography of me, a professional biography. You know, like something you put on a website or something like that. Mental note. I need a mouse bungee. Uh. Oh yeah, I just wanted to mention before I start getting into it really hard that uh, I got a new keyboard and mouse, and I haven't had a chance to test the audio on them. So please let me know what you think, if it's louder, if it's more annoying, or if it's not uh, really, you know, let me know and I'll, I'll do some, some work on it. Uh, but yeah, I think for the most part it's in general quieter, though it is, uh, the space bar uh, will be probably way louder because it's way bigger. So yeah, uh, there's definitely that. I'm just going to change it. Yeah, you're going to be able to hear it. It's still a mechanical keyboard. It's just a quieter mechanical keyboard. It's just different. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. So, to start off today, I want to talk about writing goals. Uh, I think it's important to set writing goals. We're in a new year. We got a lot done last year. Uh, I will go over that a little bit more so that we can start looking at our writing goals. But yeah, um, I want to accomplish some things on stream this year. Uh, I've been doing this for, ooh, I started May 1st last year. So I've been doing this for 
eight months now. And in 2016, what did I accomplish? I finished a short film. I finished a comic book script. I mostly finished a short story. And so I mostly finished a short story. I finished a game concept, though I didn't really necessarily do a ton with that. I finished, actually I finished two game concepts. Um, so yeah, I finished two game concepts. I finished a bunch of short and flash fiction. Uh, I've worked on the website. Yeah. That's pretty much the overview. It's really five main projects that I've completed would be the gist. And one that I've started and didn't finish. Which was the thing for Drani. So there's that. But yeah. So my writing goals for 2017, uh, I want to, I'd like to finish Fear the Siren, though that's not a big priority right now, uh, to be honest. I think I've done a lot of what I've tried to do with that, so it might be worthwhile moving on to another project for the foreseeable future uh, and leaving that incomplete. I'd like to finish at least two short stories this year. Uh, so I'm gonna flip to our main screen here. And punch up the zoom so you can actually see it. So goals for 2017. I'd like to finish two, two short stories this year on screen. <laughs> and I'd like to, what else would I like to do? I'd like to finish two short stories. to finish two short stories I would like to do a game stream at some point perhaps more towards my anniversary uh, my stream anniversary I guess would be in May so more towards that um, so yeah I'd like to do that I would like to do I'd like to do at least five uh, what's the word I'm thinking of I'd like to do five dual streams with other people. So I'd like to do that. Uh, I'd like to finish updating the website. And 
I would like to. Hmm. I'm only gonna do five, so I want to do one more. What would I like to do? <laughs> well, true. I'd like to get it so that it's so that uh, the current episode is the only one not updated. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where I'm actually on top of it. One more. <laughs> That's not really a goal though. That's just gonna happen. I don't know. Should I have like a followers goal or something? Yeah, maybe that's what I should do. I'd like to hit 2,500 followers. In eight months I did 1,100. So I feel like in the next year I can double that. So those are my my goals. For this year. And I will add these to uh, the channel after the stream. So yeah. We'll start with that. Oh, yeah, not 2,500. I mean 250. That's what I mean. <laughs> I added a zero there somehow. My bad. <laughs> I keep that around mostly just for, uh, you know, if, if someone needs to post a file or if I need to post a file or different things like that. But maybe that might be a thing. So yeah, the whole thing about writing goals is that you want to make them so that they're uh, well, I'm going to use the acronym, I guess. You want to use the SMART principle. Uh, you want them to be specific. You want them to be measurable. You want them to be achievable. You want them to be realistic. And you want them to be timed. So what that means is Uh, for my goals, when you look at them, <laughs> the first rule of writing goals is don't talk about writing goals. I want to talk about writing goals. It's a good habit. It's a good habit to have goals. Uh, so my goals are all specific. They are concrete. They have measurable numbers. 250 followers. Uh, five things. Do a game stream. Finish two things. The only one that's kind of nebulous is finish updating the website.
but that still is somewhat measurable. Uh, the way, <laughs> no sure stuff. I'm gonna change this then because it updating the website is never gonna finish. Get the website up to date. There you go. So the measurable elements for number four for me are uh, getting all of the project pages finished, having it so I'm on to the current episode. So all of the previous episodes, the archives are finished. Stuff like that. Um, so yeah, uh, these goals realistic? Yes, I think they are. Uh, they're very simple, they're small, they are realistic. They're totally achievable. If I put my head down and I do some work, I can get these done. And time, I want them done by the end of the year. I actually don't think it'll take me the entire year to do most of this, but leaving it out there. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about goals. Now, on the biographies. What we're doing right now is, uh, for my magazine submission, I have to submit a biography of myself, a professional writing biography. That What that means is it's a single paragraph uh, breakdown of kind of who I am as a writer. I have examples. I just took them from the previous issue of OnSpec uh, to Canadian writers, I think. I don't know if this guy's a Canadian writer. Yeah, this guy is. Anyway, uh, two of the writers from the current issue. So that you could have, so I would have a better example of what they were kind of looking at in terms of a, a bio, which is short for biography and biology, depending on who you ask. So, um, yeah, the important thing to know about biographies, uh, especially short ones like this, is uh, tone, length, things like that. We want it to be light, we don't want it to be super serious, but at the same time it is professional, so you know, you, you can't go too far. Um, from what I'm seeing of the ones in OnSpec, they're pretty... pretty straightforward basic things uh, I'd like to be a little bit better than that but you know at the end of the day a bio is a bio it can only be so interesting and yes they are short I plan on writing several of them uh, I'm working on some different things for that to get them up to a, a, a sp space that I really like Especially because I don't necessarily have the same like credentials as these people do. Um, in that way, I guess. I don't know. Also important to note, the vast majority of bios are written in third person, not first person. So I will not be using I, I'll be saying Brendan. It's gonna get confusing, I guarantee it. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, they're just information. Uh, but you can do things with information that's more interesting. It doesn't have to be the driest pr presentation of facts. I was reading an article before the stream uh, about writing uh, biographies, and I will link that article right now, and it will also be in the VODs. about you know, professional bio examples, about how to write interesting ones. What makes them interesting? What are you trying to accomplish? So yeah. Um, so we're gonna start off with some notes. What are things that I want to put in my bio, my professional bio? Uh, just jot this down. I 
I want to put my time. Actually, I have my resume here. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna take this over here. Have some notes. So things that I want to talk about, uh, that I might want to talk about. Uh, I'd like to talk about accidental work. Uh, and have a link to that. Uh, I would like to talk about working for the Excalibur, which is a community newspaper in Toronto. I'd like to talk about uh, screenwriting, probably. talk about films I don't necessarily want to talk about films so there's that for sure yeah I have I have very few Sam I have very few I wish I had more time like I wish I could read the PD the the EPUB I got because I can't actually read it. If I could read it, I could actually see what the bios are. Maybe I should get a. Let's see if I can get some real quick. No text. Neat. Also had to close chat for a sec there, so if you said anything in the last minute, I didn't see it. Apologize. So the thing is, is the file is not corrupted. It can actually all they can all open the file. It's just that the text is so small I actually can't read it. And then when I put it onto my tablet, the text is so big I can't read it. It's really really strange. Um, but yeah. Anything else I want to put down? Uh, hobbies, maybe? 
sometimes that's a good thing to put in. I can actually read it now. Sweet. I got it. Okay, here we go. I found one that is not a bunch of There's some silly ones and fun ones in here. They're not all super professional. Well, super professional. They're all professional. Uh, they're not all uh, some example style. This one is another good example. I don't know why these are not the same font. That's what weirds me out. Save. I should actually save. That's a good point. Um, yeah, we'll save this as uh, bio examples. And I'm going to save this as uh, episode 34 exercises. So yeah, anything else uh, you think I should do, put, add in here? Hey Disney, what's up? Anything else I want to put in? I could talk a little bit about film industry stuff. Uh, that is an option. I don't think I want to do uh, that. You're Canadian, no, it does not make a difference. But I could, I could add that. Yeah. Locale.
Well, I, I'm planning on writing multiple. I don't think I'm going to use all of this. I'm just trying to think of all of the potential exhaustive options that I have, uh, what I should talk about. So yeah. I don't think there's much else. I don't think there's much else. That's probably about it. Okay, so it's a little early. But uh, I'm gonna take, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna take a five minute break right now. And then when I get back, we're going to dive deep into writing an actual bio example. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's do that. Break time. 